What a story to start with. A Tuscaloosa mother wants answers after seeing what her daughter was eating for lunch at school. I'm Jim Dunaway. I'm Sherry Jackson. The fifth grade student attends Skyland Elementary School. Her mom joined her for lunch and took a picture of the food, or in this case, the lack of food on her daughter's tray. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle joins us live in the studio with that story. And Stefan, we saw that tray too. It's shocking. Yeah, Sherry, this is what they served on this tray. If you take a close look, you've got three small cherry tomatoes, some mixed veggies, a bread roll, and some beefaroni. Now, to the ear, it may sound like a lot, but clearly to the eye, you can see that it was anything but. Um, I happened to look on her plate as she sat down. So I looked and said, Naya, um, that's all? She said, yes, ma'am. So I just looked like you can't be serious. Yvette Platt took this picture of the plate and posted it on Facebook. And you can bet it went viral. Mixed vegetables, four little tomatoes, um, a roll, and what you want to call a ronaroni, beefaroni. <laughs> no, ma'am. And although she has 99 problems with school lunch, she says having her daughter eating healthy isn't one. I'm almost sure Michelle Obama would want them kids to be full. Either way you go, I'm almost sure she would want their meals to look eatable. So half the teachers aren't even eating the food. So why should the students continue to eat it? Platt said she's encouraging other parents to protest by packing their kids' lunch. But she said she wants change because not all students have a means to eat. If it's their last meal for the day, not knowing what they have to endure going home, let them be full. That's all. Now, Yvette Platt said she spoke with a board member who said he would look into it. But we independently reached out to Tuscaloosa City Schools and have not yet gotten a response. Live in the studio tonight, Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News.